Yes, with the new stay-at-home order, we're trying to make sure our kids have everything they need for the whole month of April to prevent them from having to get back out to get materials and supplies they need for virtual at-home learning. As far as kindergarten goes, we've created a packet that contains work for reading language arts and math and we've divided it up by weeks so that they're not overwhelmed with getting a month's worth of work at a time but we've also created a kindergarten website specific to our kindergarten and once on that website we're uploading instructional videos that help them to work through the packet so that parents aren't overwhelmed with how to instruct them to do things and also on the website it links them to something we're using called Google Classroom where they can find links to all of our computer programs that they're used to using at school plus some new ones so that they can have the more virtual side of the learning experience. Students can come park at any of the and I believe it's anyone in Bruton can come park at any of our school campuses and since the range is widened to my understanding they should be able to connect to the guest network for free throughout the length of this at-home learning time. It's quite unusual and don't really feel like closure because we didn't get to really tell our kids goodbye you know and so we're missing them. <laughs> yeah. Yes we have mostly reading and math. We have it divided by the week, a lesson or two per day, and two assignments in each week that they have to upload to us, a reading and a math. So mostly reading and math, and then some fun things, some crafty things, and things that are going along with our themes, which this week is uh, called the enormous carrot. Next week we have something with, that goes along with zoo and Easter and that type of thing. So each week is something a little different but hopefully holds their attention and keep them on track with where they're going. The packet that they're getting today for kindergarten lasts through April. It's possible that we'll have to come back in May but we haven't heard that yet. I got it. <laughs> it's all right. That's all his supplies from his desk. Today we are um, distributing packets of work for students who aren't able to access work online. We're also signing out Chromebooks to students who need a device so that they can do their work online. So they're coming through in a drive through style. They're staying in their vehicles. We're gloved up and taking um, materials to the vehicles and signing those things out. And I'm um, just trying to get the distance learning started today. The Wi-Fi um, is available at the, at the high school, at the elementary school, and at the central office. Those are more central locations for, for Wi-Fi. So students could come and um, they could be parked in the driveway. They could be sitting out in the grass, uh, you know, to keep them a, a good distance, but be able to access internet. It's, it's been amazing, um, just not only the fact that we have opened up Wi-Fi, but the fact that the parks in town have Wi-Fi. That's made a lot more um, students be able to participate online. Um, the mayor wants to check in with what we're doing, how are we doing. Um, I think he's helped us participate with feeding some of our students and getting some of those meals um, together. Uh, just the encouragement and the support that we have is, I mean, it's vital to what we do every single day. And um, I think that we're able to do some things that maybe some other school systems haven't been able to continue. And so um, I really think that the, the community is why we're able to do what we do. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of students who are already actively participating online, so I see that we'll be able to stay in touch with our students and um, continue to be um, continuing their academics, but also being able to 
um, just stay in touch with them to encourage them. And um, we've got teachers that are doing some video conferencing. They're doing some videos just to kind of put their face out there, um, just to be be as um, as much of a presence as we can in our students' lives since we can't see them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Our students, our teachers are grieving our students. We miss them. Uh, this is what we do. We we love our students. Everything that we do during our day is for them, and um, we. Uh, we just we miss being interacting with them and knowing what's going on in their lives and um, and being able to, to talk with them and help them and um, it, it's it's been hard to, to to not come in every day and and be able to see those students.